Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you view the uh, coming integration of the European economies in 1992? Well, that's interesting. It's kind of a mixed bag because, um, of course, the, the, the press the media hoops it up as being a great thing because it's like a giant free trade area, uh, free market area, which in a sense it is. It would be a supposedly free movement of capital and, la and labor and, and goods uh, within Europe. The problem is, however, you know, they're also building up the giant bureaucracy of Brussels. Uh, they're also interfering. It means more statism within the countries. I mean, for example, the countries in Europe which have low tax levels are being urged by the Brussels establishment to increase their taxes to, so as to equalize with other countries. You say. So you have a tax increasing stuff. Plus, you have a very dangerous situation, namely the European Monetary Unit with the European Central Bank looming up. Uh, a European Central Bank, of course, is much worse than having no European, just having eight or seven or eight central banks. It's much worse to have one giant central bank, which is an inflationary cartel of the whole European structure. Plus the fact uh, the Keynesian, the Keynesians are still in power. Okay, For, uh, the Keynesians, the Keynesian dream, and Secretary Baker, Secretaries Baker and Brady, or, or Brady, uh, probably find a shoelace. I mean, B Baker is a, is a Keynesian. Okay, the whole, it's a Keynesian government. And uh, so what they want, the Keynesian dream is to have a world, a great, a great objective from Keynes down, is to have one world central bank and one world monetary unit, which could be issued by the central bank, one world paper money. And then you have a world, you have a world reserve bank issuing world paper, and then everybody can inflate together. You wouldn't have any problems with, <laughs> with losing gold, losing dollars, worrying about exchange rates. Everybody will inflate together, have one world inflation. They manage, of course, brilliantly by the world economists. And then, of course, you have a one world result being one world runaway inflation, which would be a real, really horrendous, much worse than the Argentinian runaway inflation. So that's the Keynesian dream, is that one managed world currency and one managed world central bank. I don't think they'll get it because there's a lot of national sovereignty jealousies here. But, I mean, that's always the threat. So the threat of a united Europe is to have a European central bank. Unfortunately, Mrs. Thatcher is against it, probably because she has monetarist economic advisors. The one good thing about monetarism is they're opposed to a Keynesian world central bank. <laughs> So uh, anyway, that's the <laughs> so it's, it's sort of a mixed bag, you know. It's, it's uh, good in some sense and bad in others. Yeah.